They will call you for a meeting. Yes, sir. Don't go for this meeting. Okay, sir. Remember the last time they called you, you came back, you were having serious headaches. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. You're having serious headaches. Yes, sir. If you go for this one, your enemy will... I don't know how, I don't know how to put it. Okay, sir. I'll not see you coming back the same. Okay, sir. The plot is completed. Just once you go for this meeting, yes, you're finished. Okay, sir. They call you, tell them you're busy, you can't come. Okay, sir. No matter the honor or recognition, it cannot buy life. The meeting is 4 o'clock today, sir. Eh? The meeting is 4 o'clock today. Yes, Elohim, my name is Joseph Anyebe from Benway State. I resided in Abuja here. God gave me a prophecy during the prayer line through wise man Daniel that somebody is going to give me a call to attend the meeting, that I should not attend that meeting, and that if I remember the last meeting that I go, I have a headache from that place, that if I attended this meeting, I may not come back the same which I confirm the prophecy that is true. I attended the last two months meeting. I returned back with headache, which I feel that is ordinary dizziness. But up to now, the headache come and gone, come and gone always. But today that this prophecy came to me, I confirm it that is true, that all the prophecy give about me is confirmed true. I know that all my problem is gone from today. So. Elohim, uh, today henceforth I give glory to Almighty God. Even the same meeting that the man of God ta asked me not to attend it. When I was in the meeting, I was supposed to attend that meeting by 4 o'clock. Even some of my colleagues from that meeting under Nasarawa State were calling me to attend the meeting before the, the prophecy came to me. I confirm everything that is true. So Elohim, I give glory to God Almighty. Let's welcome our Father Ford. For God to go straight to point him out means it was a serious matter and he wouldn't have survived it. So let's listen and learn. Elohim. Our names are Mr. and Mrs. Anyebe Joseph. We are originally from Benue State, lives in Abuja here. Last week, about two weeks ago, we are not even on the prayer line for our own sake. We brought our last born to the prayer ground because we discovered that he started man doing some certain things very funny. And then we say that we should bring, brought him at that time for prayer. But as God so doing, he, my own prophecy came before my own son. Somebody is going to call me for a meeting. Which is very, very true, I confirm it. And if I attended that meeting, that I may not come the same. Which, the one that I went last time, I came back with a headache. All the prophecies are true. The prophecy at that time, when I, before I even come to the church, I have a lot of challenges, which I have a very deep headache, which I didn't understand. And at that period, we have our, the people that is going to call me for a meeting, is a member of our own community. Those people that are supposed to call me for this meeting, for the past six or seven months back, which is last year, we had our own meeting. We always, this meeting is, as I said, that is community meeting. We do contribute some certain money to assist ourselves when you have some challenges. And if the community have problems, we render assistance to them. 
But those people, there are some group of elders, they have appointed some certain uh, titles there, some chairman, vice chairman, and others. Like myself, I was appointed as a legal advisor of that meeting. So last year, the, the junior ones started suspecting that the higher chambers started tamper with their fund. They call for investigation of their money, that they should go to check their account. But those elders know quite all right that they have tampered with this money. They don't want the youth to, to go and audit their account. So the only thing, the solution for them is between me, who is between the, the lower chamber and the higher chamber. So those red cap, they call me aside. They say, if those people happen that they come and these boys whom they're supposed to, to disgrace them, come to disgrace them in public, it's going to be a big shame for them. I say my own is that I will advise you people. We are going directly to our own constitution so that whatever is the law said, then the law will take the cause and say, no, Joe is not so. What we do, just stay aside for us that we know how to convince them and we pass through. So myself, I kept quiet, but my conscience was disturbing me. I told them that I'm not going to come. When the meeting came early this year, I, that very one when I'm having the headache, I attended the meeting, true, true. So when I attended the meeting, they begin debate. So later, it was the same elderly people who says that I should not, I should keep quiet. They called me, as, they called me in public, say, Joe, you are the legal advisor of this meeting. What did you have to say? I say, yes, we are going back to our constitution. That anybody that's supposed to touch anything should have to go through the constitution of the meeting. So this elder started to look at yourself. This is not what we discussed with this man. No. They started to look at yourself one by one. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> they called him privately to defend them because they knew that something has happened. And the same people that told him, <laughs> if it happened, just say, uh, let's forget about it, nothing happened to the phone. As a legal advisor, they, they take his words. The meeting probably they say, if they call the meeting, just defend us. The same set of people were the ones that asked his opinion. <laughs> Regular advisor. <laughs> what do you have to say? He said, well, the law have to take his full course. <laughs> they now look at themselves. And that was where the trouble started. That was the area God saw. <laughs> I don't know who is looking at me now. When I see him probably, I will tell him. Even now, they, they are, the question is that, how did he know? How did he know? How did he know? What kind of power does he have? What kind of this? God is great. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. So from there, all of them, they are not happy because they went and fixed the date for auditing, which all of them were guilty. So, and they say that some of them should, be, the whole cashier, every secretary should be removed. So at the end of the day, myself, I start taking precaution because the way how they were looking at me, I know they are not happy. So I started to exempt myself till on that March. So on March, I said that, hence I didn't go one, two, three months. Let me attend that meeting, which I went there and because they called me before I arrived at that time. Say, Joe, are you coming for the meeting? I say, no, because every month they will call me. If I say that I'm not coming, all of them will be there. But I just want to calculate so that they will not know the time of my coming. So when the meeting was in session till the middle, I arrived there. Then all of them started to watch themselves here and there. The, and the, very, the very plan then was not really hashed because he told them he was not coming. But there was something they used, which, of course, he should give thanks to God for giving him the bone of his bone, the flesh of his flesh. God showed me that this woman is a candle behind him. Each time, I'm not in the house, but she will confirm me. Each time, the husband is going for this meeting. Even she got to say, she started suspecting that something wants to happen. Each time, the husband is going for the meeting, she will be praying. That's what rescued the husband from mental issues. But the Bible says, without sign, you cannot believe. And when the headache comes, 
you tend to feel very dizzy. Yes, sir. You'll be seeing double. Yes, sir. That's how it starts. Before you know it, the brain will be, the, the nomenclature of the brain will be reformed. You will see, you, you will ask you to drink water, you use it to wash your hand. You want to ask you to use to wash your hand, you drink it. it. means the nomenclature of the brain has been reset. But the prayer of this woman rescued him. She will be surprised to hear what I'm saying. <clears throat> Go ahead, sir. Then, when, the, when I came, some of them started to flimsy excuse. One say he has a meeting for charismatics. Another one say he has night duty to go. Another so one after seeing you there. Yes, sir. Another one said he has a, another CMO meeting to attend, and that they may not be able to wait. And then I, I started to observe that the cabinet there is reducing. So I called one of the members aside. I said, "What is going on?" He says that uh, one one of them exposed the secret to him that. I'm always using the police hands to turn them outside and that they may not be able to do the meeting together with me. Then I smile. I say, okay, if that is the case, the next meeting I myself is the one to quit the meeting for you people, that I'm not going to stay. If my, the way how I talk to you people, you don't want it. But all of them that I'm saying now, they left the meeting entirely. So that very period, I left that meeting. When I returned back from that meeting back home, I was having the headache throughout till that very same last week, since that March, till that, the same day of that prophecy that came. And I love for Jesus Christ. Then I, at times, I, in the night, I'll be having dream, I would, I would be half naked. So I only wear short nika to the public area. Love for Jesus Christ. You see, that's a confirmation of that. It was going somewhere else. So I, when I came back, I told my wife, I said, this is what is going on. These people, if, the way I do have the meeting together with her, it's like they don't want it. So I'm making arrangements. I say, yes, that you know this time around, people don't like the truth. Because something of money, when they discover the money like that, they will be trying one way or the other to just siphon their phone. That I should try to avoid them and leave the meeting for them. If I Who said that? My wife. Love for Jesus Christ. Can you see, when God gives you bone of your bone, flesh of your flesh. Huh? See ya, Oga. The way I'm seeing this meeting, avoid it. My spirit is not telling me that you should go. Please avoid it. Even when the husband forced himself, she will go into prayer. Lord, no weapon formed against my husband shall prosper. Protect him with the blood of Jesus Christ. It is that prayer that rescued the husband from mental problem. He had it. Subsequently, he had a dream where he saw himself half naked. Go ahead, sir. So, when I came, I started to explain all to my wife. She kept on advising me. So, on reaching here that day, I even prepare myself, I say, hey, is that period date and I have not been attended the meeting. That today, I'm going to the meeting. Which day? That very day you prophesied to me at that time. No, that not me. No, the, no, day, the, the day God prophesied the, to you. The, the, the day that the God revealed to you to prophesy to me. Clap for Jesus Christ. <laughs> so your plan was after the service. <laughs> so, eh? After the service, you just go? Yes, sir. That is my plan. I make the plan that immediately after the service, I'll find my way to the meeting. Hmm. Then somebody truly called me. He says that, are you going for tomorrow's meeting? I say it's after service, but I may not go immediately to join them from two. But I don't want you to tell anybody that I'm going there by two. He said, no problem. That he is going to wait for me by the church here. So I should expect the call. So I put my phone on on vibration, put it in my pocket, expecting the call. That is why that day when I come now, I handed over the key of the vehicle to my wife. I said, take the key. Immediately the closing hour, I may not go home straight. My wife said, no, that if you are coming to tap anointing from the church, why don't you go home and carry that anointing to your house? Clap for Jesus Christ. God keep using the wife to save him from danger. Using the wife to delay him, delay him, Delay him, delay him, delay him, until God captured him finally. Then 
I say no, that hence I don't delay. I will carry the, the little boy that we brought to prayer line home. I will go to that place. And before the time reach, God revealed the secret of demon, that the plan through wise man Daniel, he exposed their secret, that I should not go there. Somebody is going to call me, that if I receive that call, I should not go for that meeting. That last time that I went, I caught headache at that time before I returned back. But if I go this time, I may not come back the same. I confirm all the prophecy that is true. Hmm. Can, we, can we play back that prophecy just for the glory of God? And let's listen. Even me, myself, that God is using. I'm amazed, and it calls for more prayer yes. after this service, for challenge God. If you can use me to do this, I know you can still do more. That's how we pray. Yes. That is how we woo God, to op keep opening the door of corridor of power, corridor of celestial corridor, opening, opening, opening. The offices are so numerous. Only you know the office you are occupying. And the more you are committed, the more you climb into another office. That is how God works. <laughs> Let's watch. They will call you for a meeting. Yes, sir. Don't go for this meeting. Okay, sir. Remember the last time they called you, you came back, you were having serious headaches. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. You having serious headaches. Yes, sir. If you go for this one, your enemy will. I don't know. How, I don't know how to put it. Okay, sir. I'll not see you coming back the same. Okay, sir. The plot is completed. Just once you go for this meeting, okay, you are finished. Okay, sir. They call you. Tell them you are busy. You can't come. Okay, sir. No matter the honor or recognition, it cannot buy life. The meeting is four o'clock today, sir. Eh? The meeting is four o'clock today. Yes, Elohim, my name is Joseph Anyebe from Benway State. I resided in Abuja here. God gave me a prophecy during the prayer line through wise man Daniel that somebody is going to give me a call to attend the meeting, that I should not attend that meeting, and that if I remember the last meeting that I go, I have a headache from that place, that if I attended this meeting, I may not come back the same which I confirm the prophecy that is true. I attended the last two months meeting. I returned back with headache, which I feel that is ordinary dizziness. But up to now, the headache come and gone, come and gone always. But today that this prophecy came to me, I confirm it that is true, that all the prophecy give about me is confirmed true. I know that all my problem is gone from today. So. Elohim, uh, today henceforth, I give glory to Almighty God. Even the same meeting that the man of God ta asked me not to attend it. When I was in the meeting, I was supposed to attend that meeting by 4 o'clock. Even some of my colleagues from that meeting under Nasarawa State were calling me to attend the meeting before the, the prophecy came to me. I confirm everything that is true. So Elohim, I give glory to God Almighty. Immediately after the service, you are going. Yes, sir. Hmm. This God is great. We thank God. It's great. Go ahead, sir. So after we close from here now, my wife said, did you see? Even my little boy that I brought for the prayer is the one that started smiling. He said, Daddy, you who brought me now, you see what is coming out now? <laughs> 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 He, he, the little boy must have witnessed how mama had been telling Baba, don't go, don't go. And the little boy, you know that if you open his mouth, Baba will say, shut up there, I'm your father. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the end of the day, he said, Daddy, you see now, 
Eh? I'm the one you brought here, but look at the way. God used that boy to keep him. Oh, this God is great. Clap for Jesus Christ. Uh huh. Then, even that the same day, the, the one of the members that is waiting for me, toward evening now, he calls me. He said, oh, How far? Let's go now. I said, No, that today, so no. We didn't finish the church program, so it's late already. I cannot go. That area is busy. I don't want to go there this time around. He hears, he said, Even he himself is not going. That we should postpone it against next meeting. That oh. is how the meeting was postponed at that time. Wow. Now, <clears throat> what lesson have you learned? And what's your advice? Yes. One, I learned a lot of lessons. I first of all give glory to God for using his servant to set me free from the captive of those demons. If not because God that revealed this secret through his servant, by now I could have been in the mug or somewhere. The type of headache that man of God was explaining to me at that time, I, at times I shake my head like this. It's like my brain is not attached to my skull. Hmm. Because it's like something there inside the shake like that. This is how, trouble, how troublesome it was, how terrible it was, so what God showed me. Uh -huh. I thank God. And one, if you are at home with your family, whether your little child or your wife or anybody, at times, anything that you are hiding, one, don't keep your secret. And those secrets that I didn't keep at time relieve me from entering to these people's hands. Clap for Jesus Christ. Clap for Jesus Christ. You had the advice? Imagine he has kept it to himself without leaving it to the wife. Of course, ah, my dear, I want to quickly rush down to the office. Would the wife say, no, don't go? But that meeting, really he mentioned that, that's the wife said, no, ah, no, no, my mind is not telling me you should go to this one. Don't go. Let's wait in the church. Let's wait in the church. Even when he said he wanted to go, he said, no, wait. Take the grace home. Instead of leaving from here to the meeting, take the grace home and postpone it. This is the end of the day, he say. Uh-huh. And second, anywhere you are, whether you are in the lion den, you have to be faithful to your God because God in heaven knows that I don't have any secret in between them. Mm. All what I'm doing, I just want to stand on my truth before them and they have another negative thought about my life. So I believe that is because of my truth, God also helped me because I'm always telling them the truth. But at the same time, I have the advice for the whole people that anything that you are doing, put all your hope in God. Whatever you do with God now, God will set you free. Amen. Amen. Clap for Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's hear your wife's side. Though you have said it all, let's just hear briefly from Madam. Elohim. My name is Caroline Anyebe. The man stand beside me is my lovely husband. He started about two weeks ago when we are preparing to the service. When we are coming, he told me that I'll be going home with a car. He hand over the car key to me. I said, where are you going to? He said they will call him for a meeting by 4 o'clock. He's going to attend the meeting. It, it has been long. He attended the meeting. I said, the same meeting you came back last time. We are complaining of headache. Hmm. And you want to go back to that meeting today? Somebody that is going to service you are combining two things at once. I was not happy that they threw out. When we came to the church, as he, he, somebody came him, uh, called him through through. So when he hand over the car key, I said, why don't you wait and take the blessing to your house mm. instead of this meeting? I was not happy about that meeting. So when we come for prayer line, the man, God Almighty used mind of God to, to locate here his problem. I was very happy. I thank God for everything because I has nothing to say but to say thank you, Jesus. Love for Jesus Christ. Thank you. And uh, as a woman of noble character whom God used to rescue him, what word of advice do you have? Elohim, my advice to the world, whatever you are doing in life, look, for, look first of God first. And number two, with God, all things are possible. Thank you. Clap for Jesus Christ. I just learned that same day, Madame equally received prophecy. Same day. 
Can you see how God brought liberation to the entire family? Let's watch. Wow. For you to know that I'm not the one doing the work. Let's watch. Uh -huh. Come here. Shut up. The last time you had this waist pain, what did you do? Yeah? I took paracetamol. Sir. Paracetamol. Yes, and paracetamol is working now. It's, it's working. The paracetamol is really working in your life now. Can't you see the hotness you're having in your womb now? Yes, sir. In your belly. It's true, sir. And complete weakness. It's true, sir. If you walk little this time, you get tired. It's true, sir. You are very correct, sir. Is it, not, is it doctor that recommended paracetamol for you? Or you just want to buy it on your own? Yes, sir. I'm not against paracetamol or any drug. But let it be recommended. Kai! The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Kai! The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Kai! Thank you, Lord. You're free. My name is Caroline Anyebe. I reside in Geriki, Abuja. During the prayer line, a man of God prophesied to me that I'll be having waist pain in my waist. I confirmed the prophecy to be true. I'll be having this pain more than 10 years. So after, and I, last year, I, I, did, I had the operation. So after the operation, I'll be having stomach pain. I've been having, I have been having hotness in my belly. And after the prayer line, immediately he prayed for me as if they start another new operation in my belly. And I went, I sit like two minutes. I feel as if they poured a, a cold water on my body. I confirmed the waist pain to be true and my belly to be true. Before, I cannot exercise, I cannot bend down, I cannot do things. Or hardly, but now I am free. I can exercise. I can turn my body. Thank you, Jesus. God of wise Mandane has done it for me. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Mm -hmm. Elohim. About two weeks ago, we came to, sin, uh, to Elohim ministry. After the deliverance of my husband, a man of God prophesied to me when I was in prayer line. He said, you have uh, been feeling waist pain. What did you do about it? And your belly, you have dizzy. In your belly, anytime you walk little, you'll be feeling dizzy. I confirmed the prophecy to be true. Last year, November, I had an operation. After that operation, it's like something moving in my belly. If I walk little, I thought the, the waist pain, I thought is the cause of the operation. I took some paracetamol. I never know that the waist is something else. If I walk little, I will be very tired. I've been complaining to my husband that I have, been, I, have, I have some pain. I've been having pain in my belly. So I continue praying. I don't know what to do when we are in prayer line, when the man of God lay his hand on me. Kai, Jesus, I thank you for everything. I started feeling pain. I still then started a new oper operation in my, in my belly. After five minutes, it's like the poor cold water on my body. I can, I turn, I turn, I check all over my body. Everything is free, and the whole pain disappears from my body. Wow, the waist pain is gone. Everything is gone. We thank God. I can do things on my own. I can do exercise. I can jump. I can do everything. Thank you, Jesus. We thank God. What advice do you have for everyone listening? If God be for us, who can be against us? Of course, nobody. Wow. According to our prophet, senior prophet, T.B. Joshua, he said, better is not good enough, but the best is yet to come in our life. 
in Amen. the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Elohim, mighty God, lives in us. Here comes the good news we have been waiting for. Here comes the official website of Wiseman Daniel Ministries. Just visit us at www.elohimglobal.tv and join the global partners of elohimglobal.tv in beaming the everlasting light of hope to the world. Are you ready to embark on a journey of faith in partnership with elohimglobal.tv? Follow these simple steps to become a valued member of the kingdom business and reach unreachable places in Jesus' name. Step 1. Visit www.elohimglobal.tv Step 2. Click on Partner. If on a mobile device, click on the three horizontal lines on the top right corner, then click on Partner. If on a PC, then Step 3. Select Registration and fill in your full details. As an elohimglobal.tv partner, you will receive exclusive benefits. A personal partnership number for easy identification, regular news and updates from elohimglobal.tv, advanced notice of upcoming crusades and events, and access to a dedicated prayer and counseling telephone line for personalized support. But your journey doesn't end there. To make your partnership commitment, simply follow these steps. Step 1. Visit www.elohimglobal.tv Step 2. Choose Donate. If on a mobile device, click on the three horizontal lines on the top right corner, then click on Donate. If on a PC, then step three. Select your desired payment gateway, whether it's PayPal, Paystack, or offline transfer details for both our partners within Nigeria and globally. You also have the flexibility to make your partnership commitment with MasterCard, Visa card, make direct transfers to our bank accounts, or even schedule your monthly donations for convenience. As a child of God with an assignment from God, Whatever you do to support the welfare of the needy and the less privileged in the society, and whatever you give to build the kingdom of God is coming back to you in hundredfolds. 2 Corinthians 9, verse 6 to 9. Remember, you are a child of promise, a product of Jesus' economy. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. In Jesus' name, amen. Your partnering with us is a huge investment in spreading the message of salvation to the entire world. So are you ready to make a difference in your world? Join us on this extraordinary journey of partnership and blessing. For any questions or inquiries, we are here to assist you. Reach out to us via WhatsApp at any time or give us a call at plus 234-704-094-5007 or plus 234-904-904. 882-4874. You can also email us at partnership at elohimglobal.tv. We look forward to hearing from you and assisting you on your journey of salvation with elohimglobal.tv. Remain blessed as you join us in building the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Elohim, mighty God, lives in us. John 14, 23. Before we close the service, I still want to bring to your notice about this fake Facebook account. It's a serious matter. Many have been defrauded, and it's my name that I mentioned on the internet. Or it's my name that me $1,000. My name that me $2,000, dollars, pounds, euro, whereas I'm here praying. If I open my knees, you pity me. If you see bruises, whereas somebody is busy using my name. And it's a pity. When they start facing trouble, they don't know where their trouble is coming from. Funny enough, you will give, these people will give you money as a mother, give you money as a father. You don't know the source of the money. When trouble comes, you will join them to suffer for this trouble. You, the mother of this foster, father of this foster, sister or brother, giving you money of people's sweats. Some of these people you defrauded that have cancer, some have diabetes, they are desperate for healing, and you defraud them. Don't be surprised that those sickness will return. That is it. Ask Elisha's servant, Gazi. As it was, so it is. 
you that is defrauded and the one that is, being, that is defrauding you, equal punishment before God. So once again, this is the original Facebook account. This is the original one. 171,000 followers. This is Wiseman Daniel. This is my original Facebook account. Have you seen it? Now, let's go to the fake. Wagadugu. The same cover page, you see? The person is monitoring me bomba to bomba. <laughs> but I pity him and his generation. You see? See the fake one? Wiseman Daniel Ministries. Why the original one is Wiseman Daniel? Fake one. That's what? 38. Thousand followers. If I post anything, he will post. But he cannot post this one <laughs> because you know this one is talking about him. So beware of this froster. You that has been duped, before they dupe you again, shine your eyes. Take note of the original Facebook account. We shall continue to announce this. That is it. Mm -hmm.